hey, in this video, we're going to talk about how we can recognize and graph hyperbolas. Well, a hyperbola is a set of all points in a plane such that the absolute value of the difference of each distance from uh, the two foci is constant. So this minus this is equal to this minus this, which is basically what this says right here. Now, we have two different types of hyperbolas. We have the horizontal and the vertical hyperbola. For a horizontal hyperbola, the x is positive. So here we have x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared. Um, <clears throat> for a vertical, y is positive. So you can see with the horizontal, the foci go along in the x direction, and the hyperbola opens around those, opposite for the vertical. Now, with an ellipse, you were used to just looking for the biggest number underneath um, x or y for a squared or b squared. For hyperbolas, a squared is just whichever one was positive. All right, so we're going to fill out some stuff based on this hyperbola right here. And just before we start, I want to point out that no longer are these called the major and minor axis. For hyperbolas, the one that goes through the foci is called the transverse axis. And this is the conjugate axis. So let's look at x squared over 4 minus y squared over 9 equals 1. All right, so the center is at hk, and we can see from x squared and y squared there's nothing up there with them, so this is at 0, 0. And we can also see that right here on the graph. a, well, since 4 is the positive number, a would be 2, and b would be 3. And so to graph this, what you do is you start at the center, and in the x direction we're going to go right and left 2, and that gives me the vertices of my hyperbola. And then um, we'll go up and down 3 in the y direction. Now, you might be thinking, well, there's nothing here. But what you do is you draw a box around these things. Now, once you have this box, you're going to go through the diagonals of the box and through the center. And what this does is it shows you the asymptotes of the hyperbola. As you can see, this hyperbola cannot touch these asymptotes. All right, so let's get back to the C. How do we find C? Unlike an ellipse, C is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So this plus is the big difference. So we get C squared is 4 plus 9, which is 13, giving us C is square root of 13, which is about 3.6. So from the center, we go out 1, 2, 3, 0.6. Uh, the eccentricity is C over A. So this is 3.6 over A was 2. We get an eccentricity of 1.8. And for hyperbolas, E will always be greater than 1. All right. Now, the equations of the asymptotes can be found just by um, using y minus k is plus or minus b over a times x minus h, or a over b if it's a vertical. But these look a lot more confusing than they actually are. These are just the point-slope formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Use the center for x1 and y1. And the slope you can just see from using your box. This went up 3 and over 2, which for a horizontal was the b over a. All right, so let's try one. We're going to graph x minus 2 squared over 9 minus y squared over 16 equals 1. <clears throat> All right, so the very first thing that we can see is that the center is at 2, 0. I'm going to plot that point. All right, from the equation, we can also see that a would be equal to 3 and b would e be equal to 4. Um, and it's a horizontal because the x is positive. So we're going to count out 3 in the x direction both ways and 4 up and down. All right, so now use these to make a box and then draw the asymptotes through the box. Because it's a horizontal, these points will be the vertices, and I just don't touch the asymptotes. All right, lastly, I need to find the focus. So c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. c squared is equal to 9 plus 16, which is 25, giving me a c of 5. So the foci will be uh, 5 away from the center. So here it's 7, 0, and at negative 3, 0. These are my two focus points. 
Okay, now the eccentricity, E will be C over A, so 5 over 3, which is 1.6 repeating. And finally, the asymptotes. And again, I'm just going to use it just like point slope formula. The center for the Y was 0, so it's just Y equals. The slope was I went up 4 and to the right 3, so that's 4 over 3 times X minus the X of the center, which comes out to 4 thirds X minus 8 thirds. And then just don't forget that these are both plus and minus because the asymptotes are going in both directions. All right, and that's how we uh, graph hyperbolas given standard form. Now, in general form for, you know, this AX squared plus B, blah, 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 A and B just must have different signs. They can be the same number. They just have to be different signs, like uh, one positive and one negative. <clears throat> so looking at this 9Y squared minus X squared, blah, 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 uh, I can tell it's a hyperbola because I have a positive Y squared and a negative X squared. That also lets me know that this would be a vertical hyperbola because the Y is positive. So let's complete the square and figure out the equation of this hyperbola. First thing I want to do is get the 10 on the other side. And now the next thing I want to do is I want to factor out a negative 1 from my x squared and from the negative 6x because I cannot complete the square unless the term in front of x squared is just 1. So now I can complete the square. Half of 6 is 3 squared is 9. So I'm actually going to subtract 9 from this side because of the whole negative 1 times 9 thing. And now I've got 9y squared minus 1 times x plus 3 squared equals 1. All right, now we haven't really seen a problem like this where we're not going to divide by anything because we already have it set equal to 1, yet this isn't written as a fraction. But don't forget, we could rewrite this as y squared over 1 ninth minus x plus 3 squared over 1 equals 1, which this tells me that a, this is a squared, so a is 1 third. So it would go up and down a third in the y direction. All right, and then from that, you could graph it um, based on the previous example. But yeah, that's hyperbolas. Goodbye.